So on the vocation side of things, I thought maybe I would give you a little tour of our convent and just for anyone who is interested in maybe what a convent might look like. As you can kind of see behind me, I live in just a typical neighborhood. Um, so we're surrounded by families, lots of kids. We live just down the street from an after school program that one of our sisters started about 15 years ago. So when we can, we help out over there. But myself and the sister that I live with are um, involved in a lot of vocation and retreat work. So we travel a lot, except for not right now because of the pandemic. Um, but typically we, um, I don't know, our daily routine is we pray together twice, once in the morning, once in the evening, uh, daily mass when that's available, especially right now. Um, and yeah, then we go about our days. So here's just a little look into where I live and um, kind of what I do. This is our front room. From some of my dances, you might recognize it. Uh, I like the lighting in here. So when I do my choreography and my freestyle dance, I have to move some things around like this table, but uh, it's a nice room. When we watch TV, we watch it in here. I take care of our little plants. We got a lot of green in here, which is good. I think it's supposed to be healthy for your lungs. Here's our little dining room, which is part of the kitchen. Uh, this house was originally, I think, four very small houses. And it was renovated um, so that we could live here and then have guests able to come. So this is technically our house of discernment. And for women who are interested in religious life and maybe want to get a feel for that and live the daily life with us, they can come and stay for maybe you know a weekend, a week, a month, however long they feel like that might help. This is just our office. And I hear Sister Judy, you wanna say hi? <laughs> there she is going up the stairs. Oh, wait, <laughs> wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is just a nice little sitting room and then so this is like the second half of the convent this is the side we live on this is our small kitchen which doesn't have the dining room because we split it in half so that we have a chapel so as you can see the blessed sacrament is present um, and that's what makes our house even though it's in a neighborhood considered a convent. Um, this is where we have our prayers every day and sometimes mass, but usually we go to the parish for mass um, to be involved with the community around us, get to know people. And then this is just a little, it was our breakfast area. We don't really eat breakfast in here, but um, sometimes we work on puzzles in here. We have our little coffee and tea station and the latest puzzle, which I haven't opened because I heard it's really hard, is a nun puzzle. Um, but that's about it. So I hope that was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to write me a message. You can find me at sista, S-I-S-T-A-H dot D. Um, yeah, and then I'll be happy to answer your questions there.